Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Khalid Word. We're back with Barbecue Bourbon and Blues, and today we're gonna get into two tailgate recipes that you're gonna wanna do. All right, we're gonna do our bourbon and beer brats, and we're gonna do our yard dogs. All right, because everybody loves to tailgate, whether you're at the game or at the house with your buddies watching the game. All right, so sit back and get ready. Catch you in a second. Word brother, barbecue. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Barbecue Bourbon and Blues with the Word Brothers, where we're here to give you a word on barbecue bourbon and blues. And today, like I said in the intro, we're gonna knock out some tailgate recipes. All right. All right. So, if you didn't know, you can go down below. You know, go through our old videos. You can find tailgate recipes. You can find our uh, tailgate wings. Our onion burger bombs, our jalapeno dog, yep, our Bronco burger dog, uh, Bronco burger, uh, burger bomb. I can't get it out. Yeah, yeah you struggling, man. Uh, you been out there bourbon already, ain't you? Nah, nah, not exactly. <laughs> or you can go check out the 420 snacks because you can do those on tailgate too. It don't matter if you're at the field or at home with your family and friends. They're all super easy to do, and you can get them done. All right. So, yeah, you want to definitely. Pay attention to these uh, recipes and things that we do for home, uh, for uh, for uh, tailgating, because it is HBU, uh, HBCU football time. Yeah, You've been on something. <laughs> I don't know what it is quite yet, but you've been on something. But I, I put you in charge of the bourbon today, so I'll be able to tell what you've been on <laughs> early. Yeah. Now, but but listen, today we understand that everybody don't have rubs, so we're going to show you how to do this with like store-bought stuff, all right? So I'm gonna knock it out with some Lowry's, some Tony Saturis Creole, a little Slap Your Mama Creole, and then I got some other stuff back here that I'm gonna tell you later. But we're gonna get into, we're gonna go ahead and season this chicken okay. for what we call our yard dogs, all right? So we're gonna do yard dogs and we're gonna do our, do our Ben Burger brats, all right? All right. All right, right so I'm gonna start yard on the dog. back side. Yeah, the yard dog, man. I'm gonna start on this back side of the chicken. And give it a nice little little coating, all right? So I'm gonna start with the Tony Saturis. Can't go wrong with that Tony Saturis. Yep. Store bought, you could get this at just about any supermarket in the country. And it's good, all right? <laughs> What other? Uh, but I heard you like to sneeze right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, 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 uh, now I'm gonna hit it with the slap your mama. That's the, the white, white lady. Yeah, yeah, this the white lady. This got the white pepper in it. All right. So I'm just gonna come back, hit it with that, going across. Yeah, well, you pointing, man. We we. <laughs> <laughs> Get right. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I tell you, get it right. Yeah, the Mr. Sneeze. Alright, so I got it with that. Alright, now I'm gonna hit it with a little Lowry's, okay? So I'm just gonna put the Lowry's in my hand and sprinkle it over. Just a nice little light coat. Of this Lowry seasoning. On the back side. And then you seen that, so check this out, all right? So we just gonna pat that in, just like so, all right? Then I'm gonna flip it over, man. What is going on with you, man? You you over here with the hiccups <laughs> and you sneezing and carrying on. I don't know if I should be standing beside you or running right there. I don't, what's going on with you, man? Man, ain't nothing going on with me, man. Uh, you sure you gonna make Memphis next weekend? Oh, I'm gonna definitely be in Memphis next weekend or this for, weekend, rather. Right? Yeah, this weekend for the uh, JSU TSU Southern Heritage Classic. I will definitely be in the building. <laughs> all right, well, you heard him. So, hey, this is an important step, all right, because on your yard dogs, on the yard dog, okay. we ain't using the skin, but but I'm going to use it as a, like a like a shield. So I'm just going to I'm gonna show you this one time or two times, and then 
I ain't gonna bore you with this no more, all right? So on this side, on the top side, you see how I pulled the skin back? Yeah. So guess what What am I seasoning then? Uh, the meat. Straight meat, buddy. That's right. You got it. So I'm gonna hit it with this tonic saturus. Just them two. Then I'm gonna hit it with the slap your mama. Yeah. And then a little bit Sprinkle that Lowry's on there just like that. And then I'm just going to cover that back up to use that as a shield. You got it? You let all of that seasoning just stick into that meat like that. You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay. All right. So I ain't going to bore you while I do the rest of these. We'll catch you back in a few minutes. Barbecue bourbon and blues with the word brothers. We're down here at the Oklahoma Joe Bronco. One of my favorite smokes to, to do my thing on. All right, for tailgate. And here I got Kings for Charcoal and a hickory and, and hickory wood chunks, all right? So I'm just going to lift that thing up. Woo, yeah. Get these things on here. I love that sound, boy. You hear that sound, you know you on to something. So I'm going to close that down. We got this thing sitting at like 350. All right. We're going to bring these chicken thighs up to about 165, maybe a little over. Then we're going to pull it. All right. I'm going to show you the rest when we get back up to the top. All right. So this is the, the chicken part of it. We'll catch back up with you in a minute. Show you how to do the rest. All right. Catch you in a second. Make sure to subscribe, comment, like, and share the channel. I'll catch you in a minute. All right, so now we got our chicken on the smoker going for our yard dogs. Okay. Now we're going to move into the second phase, all right? All right. So for the B&B, uh, for the Ben Bourbon brats. What, what you been or, drinking? I ain't been drinking. <laughs> nah, I said exactly what it was. I ain't left no letters out. That all was right, you. Come on. So we, <laughs> I like Andouille sausage. I like brats too, but I like Andouille sausage. So today I had Andouille. It was already, you know, in the fridge. So I'm just gonna use my andouille sizes, man. But you can use brats, you can use hot dogs, whatever you wanna use, all right? But for this, you're gonna need a cast iron skillet. You're gonna need some dice, some jalapenos, some onion, some orange uh, bell pepper, thinly okay. sliced, and I got some butter, all right? And, and, and some seasoning. Whatever your favorite barbecue rub is or whatever seasoning you got, you can use that. Now, down there on my Weber kettle, where I'm gonna meet you at, I have my cast iron, one of my cast iron skillets already down there. It's getting ready. It's warming up right over those coals. All right, so I'm gonna meet you back at the smoker and show you what to do with, with everything, okay? Catch you back in a second. Barbecue bourbon and blues with the Word Brothers. Hey, now we're back with your favorite part of the show. As always. And As always. I put you in charge of the bourbon today. So I'm interested to see what you brought today for a brother to sample out. All yeah. right, let me. Well, since, since it's uh, uh, football season time, you know, you, yeah. sometimes everybody's pockets is not just right for the uh, tailgate. Or, you know, you want to uh, save a little bit on the, on the, uh, on the liquor end of where you can put in more on the food in. Now, so, I know what you do, man. I know what you do. <laughs> I know what he do, and I'm going to tell y'all what he do. What I do? For them cheap ones that come to the to the tailgate. <laughs> I said that yeah, out for him. Yeah, he going to say that. Cause he already done just tried to describe <laughs> something. He going to say something out for them. Everybody that ain't contributing right, they drink about second. A third shelf of bourbon. Okay, everybody <laughs> putting it in right, go drink good. All right, but actually today we got um we got something that's actually very uh, price to move. All right, it's that very old Barton. Okay, it's a blend. No, Barton. <laughs> <laughs> How they come? 
<laughs> no, nah, they were got a, they were they got the same daddy, I guess, but it's two different mothers. <laughs> All right, so we got a uh, very old Barton. But to bourbon drinkers, you know, they say a uh, very old Barton has a a, a, a a very large cult following. All right, really? Yeah, yeah. So you know, um, it's one that you would probably want to put on your collection just to have it up there, you know. But um, Barton, Barton's, yeah. Okay. All right, it's gonna roll in at about uh, eighty proof. All right. Uh, where's, uh, it, where's it made? Uh, I think it's, uh, if I can remember right, Bardstown, Kentucky. Okay. All right. We got this. It's coming in about 80 proof. All, All right. right. You know, to the eye, you see the dark caramel color. Yeah. All right. To the nose, you're going to get uh, hints of... Uh, Unleaded. <laughs> <laughs> Unleaded. <laughs> Kerosene. It's going to be premium. <laughs> but uh, but uh, you're going to get... Just around. You're going to get hints, hints of... Um, Dark dried fruit, all right? Okay. You're also gonna get a uh, little hints of um, toffee uh, and caramel. Actually, you know, um, when you pop it in, it kind of reminds you of opening up a, a box of uh, Cracker Jacks or Crunching Munch. You remember how, oh, yeah, how yeah, they yeah. call yeah. uh, yeah, popcorn like that. smell? Yeah. yeah. All right, all right. You know, <clears throat> to the palate, you're gonna get um, a little hints of uh, citrus and that toffee flavor. Mm -hmm. It's going to kick in pretty good. Okay. Uh, you're going to get a, a light, uh, linger aftertaste, but nothing harsh. All right. Other than that, we're going to get into it and see uh, what very old Barton is actually talking about. All right, man. Hey, I'm trusting them. You know what? Hey, oh, Lord. I should have never put him in charge of bourbon. I should have known better. <laughs> well, if you know me, I, you know I got the best in the stash, <laughs> just for me. All right, so we're gonna uh, let it breathe for a second Ooh. so that um, <laughs> that little dried, you know, you can give it a little swirl so you know it kicks up that little dried uh, fruit, uh, dried dark fruit. Uh, what about your way. favorite? Is this in there? Your favorite, candy nuts? No, that's <laughs> you, you like a roasted. <laughs> you like roasted nuts. <laughs> At boot leather. <laughs> <laughs> Who don't want leather taste like? All right. It don't smell bad. It don't smell bad. We gonna see. Well, here we go. Here's the football season. Here's the football season, all right? Hey, man, it's actually easy. It's easy. Yeah, it says give you like a light linger. Nothing harsh. Yeah, that's, that's true. It's easy, yeah. And it's price to move so far. When, when you say price to move, what what type of price line you talking about? Oh man, about? it's price to move. It's around about twenty dollars. About fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for you, uh, uh, college students that's old, that's drinking age, and and want to go down to the tailgate. Just grab yeah. you some of this very old bar, and you ain't got to, you don't have to grab the Hennessy's or the Crown Royal. If your money ain't right, you barely got your ticket to get in the game. <laughs> this is what you want to get. Hey. We know most of y'all not going into the game no way. Yeah. You're going to hang out at the tailgate the whole time, but this is something that uh, you can actually pick up. They say it's crafted, yeah. too, on the label. Now, now I'm going to tell you something. This is what we would use. This is something that I would use to cook with. Yeah. Because it's that light, man. It, it, it's Like I said, it's not harsh, it's and it's priced to move. Yeah. You, can use a good, you can use a good bourbon to cook with if you want to. Or you can grab something like this, make it easy on yourself, all right? All right. All right. All right. It, it ain't well, bad. There you go, y'all. I can see how they got a coat following because it is easy on the path. Very old buttons brought to you by Smiley's. <laughs> no, no, don't put that on. Brought to you by Skip Word. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I bet you drink it. Well, I'm gonna finish this off. I don't know how much Next I'm gonna drink. Bottle be gone. Because <laughs> no, that, that you gonna drink it. But we gonna catch back up with you. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, and share the channel with your friends. Definitely. We're doing these tailgate recipes, showing you how to get it in. Whether you're the HBCU. A PWI, a pro game, or a soccer game, because we got the soccer team down here getting it in now, too, now. Or a little league game in some of them. Or a little league <laughs> game, yeah. <laughs> you ain't got no business having no whiskey yet. We said tailgating. We, we talking about tailgating, period. Not, not just drinking. At no little league game.
<laughs> <Way up here. laughs> hmm. <laughs> all right, we're going to catch back up with you in a minute. Barbecue, bourbon, and blues with the word for all time, man. It don't matter what. Eat it is. this meat. <laughs> if it's a parking lot, it's all good. All right, so we're back down here at the smokers, all right? So I got my Oklahoma Joe going with the chicken and stuff. And now I got my Weber kettle out. Got my Weber kettle out. These are two nice little uh, a smoker and a grill. Well, this can smoke also. So you got two smokers that, and they could both be grills that you could take the tailgates and it's minimal space, all right? So I'm just gonna take that off. I got me a half a stick of butter right here. I'm just gonna throw this in my cast iron skillet, all right? Ooh, and as you can see, it's nice and hot. So now I'm gonna get them jalapenos in there. I'm gonna get half of these orange peppers in. Then I'm gonna get it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna move this over. Ooh. I'm just gonna saute these up real good, real quick. All right. And they've been over that hot fire, so I put I put my cast iron skillet on early. And like I said, we are gonna do this. So if you can't, cause we understand everybody don't have access to all these rugs. We are gonna do this with stuff that you could buy in the store. So I got my Tony Saturus. I'm gonna hit it with a little Tony Saturus. I'm gonna hit it with a little more of your slap your mama with the white pepper. And a couple of more of these jalapenos, all right? So I'm just gonna saute these up. Ooh, looking good. So I'm gonna saute these up. Let me show you what else we do to it, all right? And I put this cast iron skillet on, and I put it on early. I put it directly over the coals so it could be hot, good and hot. And you just wanna saute these up until they get nice and soft, all right? And you can use the spatula to move it back and forth. Now I'm just gonna let it sit there and do its thing for a second. Before I move it around again, And I'll come back to you in a second, all right? And let you know the rest of the steps. All right, so we're down here at the smoker. As you can see, I've sauteed these vegetables and the uh, onions, jalapenos, and orange peppers until they're soft. Now I'm gonna add these, this bill. Yes, I wish you was here to catch some of that, that smell right there. And then, uh oh, I'm gonna add my sausage, all right? So I'm gonna add my andouille sausage to these. I'm gonna let that do its thing, boy. Ooh. 
Yes, Lord. Got that in there, and then I'm just gonna go over the top of it with a little bit more of this. Slap your mama. With the white pepper. Inside there. I'm gonna close it down. All right, and let it do its thing. All right, on the Weber kettle. Catch you back in a second to show you the rest. All right, we're back with our tailgate recipes. Now, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, and share the channel. Like I said, today we're doing our beer and bourbon. Uh, brats okay. or sausages and we're doing these yard dogs that's what we call them right all right so now that we got these up i'm gonna leave it up to you to pull this chicken oh man so what we're gonna do first we're gonna take these skins off i'm gonna take this chicken skin off oh look look how seasoned that is don't that look good right yes it does yeah so we're gonna take these skins off And then I'm gonna let you. Hand them over so I can start pulling them. Man. Yes, <laughs> boy. You was about to make me say something. There you go. Since when does the sous chef get the call? I I don't know, man. But that's why I said, all right. The orders. Probably easier with man, your hand, Bob. You shred with the pork, not with. Don't. Hey man, let's talk <laughs> from you and Mo filming. That's what <laughs> your job is to film. <laughs> yeah, here man, just give me that. Yeah, your Use job, your hands, man. Your job is to film. <laughs> we got an opening for a new sous oh, chef. Uh, a cameraman. <laughs> For a new sous chef. Fingers, oh, fingers be in the way. <laughs> Camera and shaking. A new, new host. So, so if you available, let us know. Apply. Apply. All right, so he knocking those out. Yeah, we ain't going to bore you with this. I ain't going to bore you with it, but you see how he's tearing it apart with you just, just his get, hands. You just and a get fork. a nice shred. All right. Now, here we go again. All right. Like the last video, that crispy skin chicken, that crispy skin chicken. You see that? Now go on, get on away from over here eating and carrying on on the line. Go, go, get off the line. I'm the chef. I'm trying to make sure it's right. Get off the line. But like I said, crispy skin chicken. Here you go. See that? And finally, I can say while he's working, I'm gonna pour me a drink. Of this very old body that he bought. That's all I need right there. All right, don't forget to like, comment, share the channel. We'll get back with you in just a second. Yes, sir. All right, so like I showed you earlier, we sauteed our vegetables. I put my andouille sausage in or your brats or whatever you want to put in there. Now, you got your beer in there. What I didn't show you was, I poured one beer, let that come up to a boil. I poured another beer. It's kind of cooled down a little bit, but it'll come up to a boil shortly. Now I'm about to add a little bit of this, this bourbon, all right? So I'm just gonna hit it with a little shot like so. Mix it around. And all these vegetables and goodness in here. And then I'm gonna cover it back up. Let it come back up to a bowl and do its thing, all right? On my Weber kettle. I'm gonna open that thing wide open right there. That's gonna heat it up. It's gonna come up to a bowl and then they'll be ready shortly, all right? Catch you back in a few minutes. Barbecue Bourbon and Blues with the Wire Brothers Tailgate Edition. All right, so we're back down here at the Weber kettle. All right. Ooh, there it is. Look at it. Two beers, 
some bourbon. Got my veggies in there doing its thing. And it's up to a hard boil. That's what you want. All right, I'm gonna move this over. And then I'm just gonna toast these buns a little bit. While that's doing this thing. We are gonna toast these buns. What you got to say about it? Man, I'm looking good. He ain't got nothing to say about it. Cause he don't know nothing about them. He don't know nothing about nothing, except for drinking. <laughs> that's, that's his special. <laughs> oh man, get the West Coast. I, I know about eating, that's what I'm waiting for. This is, and I'm getting hungry, man. What, guess what? You ain't got to worry about eating nothing because you only brought very old body, so <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, you gonna get us some of this liquid out this <laughs> damn mixture right here. All right, now some people open their buns all the way up and lay them down. I'm just going to leave mine a little tinted like that, all right? Here. So I'm going to keep mine, like I said, a little tinted. And I'm going to stay right here close to it. While they do their thing, I'm going to close that up. And I'll catch it back in about three minutes all right i'm gonna let that do its thing till about three minutes i'll be right back to you all right so we're back all right now i'm gonna take these out i got me a slotted spoon you can see all that goodness coming out these vegetables with these andouille sausage or your brats or your hot dogs, or whatever you want. It came up to a hard boil. Now I'm just getting all this, this goodness out of here. Look at that. Oh yeah, seasoned up right. It's all good, everything's transparent, it's soft. That's how you want these when they hit that bun, all right? And I toasted my buns a little bit. I left them tinted, left them like sitting up a little bit so you, so you get that, that nice bun, that dog sitting there or that brat or Whatever sitting there real nice, all right? All right, so. And if you got more, if you got more dolls and stuff, you just stick it in there and let it do its thing with the brats or your andouille sausage or whatever, and you let it do its thing in this crock pot. I mean, not the crock pot, in this uh, cast iron skillet. All right, put that top back on the Weber kettle, and I'm gonna head up. i catch you in a second. All right, we're back. So we're back up here. We're about to put these th uh, these things together, all right? So first thing I'm going to do is the uh, the bourbon and beer dog, all right? So I'm going to grab this out, put it on the bun. I'm going to hit it with a little barbecue sauce. Got my slotted spoon, because you always want the slotted spoon, all right? Get your vegetables on there, your jalapenos and all of that. Just like that. A little more barbecue sauce, all right? Done, there you go. That's your bourbon and beer, brat or andouille sausage or Italian sausage, whatever you like, I dog, whatever it may be. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is knock this yard dog out, all right? Okay. So I got my sauce out and busted it open. And I'm gonna, oh, I almost forgot. Sorry, y'all. Hit it with the barbecue sauce. Come back. Hit it with the pulled chicken to skip pulled. 
There we go. Come back with a little more barbecue sauce like that. Uh-oh, hold on. A little sour cream like so. Hit it with some onions on the top. Couple more of these slices and dices of this orange yellow pepper. Jalapeno. Come back. A little barbecue sauce. A little sour cream. Got it. That's it. And there you got your your Ben Bourbon right. sauces. Yeah, whether it's a brat or dog or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And you got your yard, yard dog. dog. Okay. Yes, sir. A little bit of yard barn pip. A little yard barn pip. A little yard barn pimp. Yeah. And a, <laughs> and a little snots <laughs> or hot dog or whatever it may be. Okay. All right. All right. Now make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share the channel with your friends. We're going to be doing these tailgate recipes for a while. Now, you're probably going to catch us out in some real games doing some tailgate stuff. We might be at Vanderbilt, might be at uh, TSU. TSU. I know we'll be at TSU. I know we're going to be there. And I know we'll probably be at Vanderbilt. You might catch us with the Vols, you know, Vol for Life, 2 and 0, all that. <laughs> Smacking down people. Like I said, VU Anchor Down, Big Blue Rising. But we're going to catch back up with you on the next episode, all right? We'll catch back up with you later. What Peace. about all your other tailgate? Well, we done talked about all the other tailgates. Make sure you go down and catch all the other tailgate videos. The onion, the uh, jalapeno dogs, the onion bombs, and all that. The 420 snacks. You can catch all of those. Down, you know, in our other videos. Alright. Up top on some places, down below on some. You know what I mean? So check them out. We we'll catch back up with you later. Peace.